Some in Congress say they're moving closer to a plan that'll make health care cheaper and better. Sounds great. But when government takes charge, it can also mean innovation stops and you may not get the breakthroughs and care that you need to save your life. Affordable health care for every single American. That's what we're called upon to do. Care for everyone for less money. Critics say that just isn't possible. The only way they can get costs down under a government-run system is to control the amount of money that is spent on health care. But there's much more of a demand for health care than the government is willing to pay for. And so we will have long waits for care, just like they do in Canada and in Great Britain. Those countries do have problems. The nationwide shortage of NHS dentists. In England, people wait just to register for a dentist. Hundreds of people queued Waits are so long, some people do it themselves. He used super glue. Some pull their own teeth, dental tools, pliers, and vodka. What do we want? Patients protest because the health service won't pay for drugs they say they need. The president says he doesn't want that. When you hear the naysayers claim that I'm trying to bring about government-run health care, know this, they're not telling the truth. But once he did say that if he were starting from scratch... I would probably go with a single-payer system. He says he doesn't want government-run health care. He does want government health care. He just wants to go about it in a slow way so people don't realize what's happening to them. Many pundits and economists agree, saying Obama's plan will build a bridge to government-run health care and we're all going to face long waiting lists and have lack of access to the latest care. People line up for care, some of them die, that's what happens. Canadian doctor David Greitzer, author of The Cure, thought Canada's government health care was great until he started treating patients. The more time I spent in the Canadian system, the more I came across people waiting for radiation therapy, waiting for the knee replacement so they could finally walk up to the second floor of their house. People wait in line. You want to see your neurologist because of your stress headache? No problem. You just have to wait six months. You want an MRI? No problem. Free as the air. You just got to wait six months. But Canadian doctors told us their system is cracking. Hi, Mr. Bell. Yeah. I'm Dr. Latowski. This man had a heart attack. What do they tell you about when an ICU bed might become available? Uh, they're waiting for the chance that somebody may be transferred so that I can get that spot. In America, people wait at emergency rooms too, but in Canada, if you're sick enough to be admitted, you'll wait an average 23 hours. We can't send these patients to other hospitals that have a capacity because there is no other hospital in the area that has capacity. There was no bed for this little girl, and she had no pediatrician that her parents could take her to to monitor her seizures. In fact, 1.7 million Canadians say they can't get a family doctor. Some towns, like this one outside Toronto, hold a lottery. Once a month, the town clerk gets this box out of the closet. Inside are names of everyone who wants a family doctor. She pulls out four slips and then calls the lucky winner. I just want to let you know that your name has been drawn for Dr. Keel's patient list. Oh, you're quite welcome. Others in town must wait. We can arrange that. Businessman Rick Baker makes money from Canadian rationing. People stuck on waiting lists like Shirley Healy pay him to get them to America for treatment. Healy had a blocked artery that kept her from digesting her food. She was starving to death. She'd lost 50 pounds. She hired Rick to help her get to this hospital in Washington State where she saw an American doctor. The doctor said that I would, would have only had a a very few weeks to live. Yet the Canadian government calls her surgery elective. The only thing elective about this surgery was I elected to live. When this Canadian woman was about to give birth to quadruplets, she was told, sorry, all the neonatal units are too crowded. She had to fly to Montana. Actress Natasha Richardson is said to be in critical condition. After Natasha Richardson hospital, fell while skiing outside Montreal, she needed a high-tech trauma center. But there wasn't one within hundreds of miles and there were no medevac helicopters to take her to one. So yes, our profit-driven system is expensive and sometimes wasteful, but it's that pursuit of profit that's given us inventions that save lives. This is the country of medical innovation. This is where people come when they need treatment. Thousands come here from countries with government health care. When this Spanish tenor got cancer, he came to America. So did this sheik from the United Arab Emirates, Italy's Prime Minister, and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. 
literally were surrounded by medical miracles. Death by cardiovascular diseases dropped by two-thirds of the last 50 years. You gotta pay a price for that type of advancement. Who says all birth Breakthroughs like birth control pills, pills, pills and robotic pills. limbs wouldn't have happened without the possibility of big profit, says Grace Marie Turner of the Galen Institute. I want companies to come up with cures for Parkinson's cures for cancer, cures for Alzheimer's, unless there is a reward for them to do that, we're not going to have those new medicines. Well, government has researchers. We have the NIH. Government is responsible for 4% of the drugs on the market today. She's right. You want innovation and fast treatment? That often comes from people pursuing profit. And you see that in Canada. Because even here, there is one area where they do offer easy access to cutting-edge technology. CT scan, endoscopy, thoracoscopy, laparoscopy. Available all the time. 24 hours, seven days a week. Patients rarely wait. If I see a patient that's torn a cruciate ligament in that patient's knee, we can generally have that patient scheduled within probably a week. But you have to bark or meow to get that kind of treatment. Want a CT scan in Canada? Private vet clinics say they can get a dog in the next day. For people, the waiting list is a month. 